Due to the unfortunate circumstances with COVID-19, school will be temporarily canceled for the next two weeks. I know it's getting Good morning, Hockerinos. I'm Jake Flores. And I'm Jordan Severs. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Hot Talk. Jake, you would not believe it. I got signed to be on a real movie. Wait, what? That's right. One day, I'm going to be a star and I'm going to make millions of dollars. And I'm going to have a little dog named Scoob. So you're just leaving me? Jake, I'm not leaving you. I'll finish the episode. <sighs> OK, well, get ready for the El Dorado Film Festival. You can create whatever your heart desires. The El Dorado Film Festival stands for you to glow with creativity. Submissions are now open until April 30th. For more information, check out the description on how to submit. Guess what, Jordan? Guess what? What, Jake? I am going to be the biggest soccer star south of Canada on jaw. <laughs> no, you're not. Dude. Just let me have my moment. Here's sports. I think in past years, the biggest thing is you don't have to, we didn't have to use a mask prior to or pre-COVID and you didn't have to maintain the six feet of social distancing. Um, the thing that's been tough is all this, during this whole period since I think our athletic program started practicing back in September, it's, it's been nothing but conditioning. Um, so they've been without a competition for a little bit more than a year, most of our athletic teams. So that, I think that's the biggest difference right now for us is the mask, the social distancing, and the fact that we haven't had a competition in a long time. The rules for spectators attending games is Placentia Yorba Belinda Unified School District only allows currently parents and guardians to attend. They must maintain six feet of social distancing and they must wear their mask the entire time they are at the event. I think the main precaution that they need to know is that we're not out of the woods yet in, when it comes to COVID. So I think they need to be careful when they use a mask. Um, the mask isn't mandatory, but it's strongly suggested that they use I think the next three to four months are gonna be extremely busy for all our athletic programs, just because we've basically taken three seasons and jammed them into three or four months. Um, I think the mask will be around for the remainder of the school year. Uh, I don't know if that's for sure, that's just my opinion, but that's how I think sports will look differently in the future. Extra A's. Hey Hawks, there's a registration Q&A Zoom session on March 18th, 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. Be sure to tune in using the link on the screen to ask any of your questions regarding the fall semester. Summer school information is coming out soon. Your assigned counselor will send out information regarding what's going to happen for this year's summer school via email or text. Hey Hawks, do you want to be a part of the Art Town Tech Crew? You'll be able to work on the set, costumes, and makeup for the show if you join. Email Mrs. Switzer for more information regarding joining the crew. Hey seniors, there's a virtual Marie and Environmental Science College Fair happening on March 27th. If you're interested, you must fill out this form shown on the screen in order to register. Space is limited, so be sure to find the link as soon as possible on the week's weekly bulletin on the EDHS website. The dancing and song trials are coming up, starting on April 5th all the way through April 8th for song, and April 12th all the way through April 16th for dance. Be sure to email Miss Lawson or EDHSSong at gmail.com for more information regarding which team you wish to join. 
That, that does, does it for another, another episode. episode. Thanks for tuning in. We had a great time. Dude, wait, that's my line. Why are you just walking all over me today? We had a I great time, and be sure to tune what in the next week, Hawks. Whoa! See ya. Where's the exit?